ano yung mga pwedeng gawin doon, no? Well, one, uh, in terms of the mismatch between the jobs that are opening up and the skills that we have, clearly, may problema tayo kaagad considering na 5% lang ng mga nag apply sa BPO ang natatanggap. Why is that 5%, no? Seven years ago, it was already 5%. It's still 5% now, di ba? Why aren't we doing enough to bridge that gap considering that we're looking at 600,000 more jobs in the next three years sa BPO industry? No? So there's that mismatch there. There are 500,000 nurses right now na walang trabaho o iba yung pinapasukan trabaho. They might be the 5% who are in the call centers, di ba? I mean, if you think about it, paano tayo umabot sa point na meron tayong kalahating milyong mga nurse na walang mapapasukang nursing jobs? I mean, di ba? How come nobody is asking these, these questions, di ba? I mean, that's a big mismatch. And these are urgent things that are already needed. Why? Because every year nagbabayad ang tuition fee yung kabataan, uh, ang pinaka-hope niya, hindi lang naman makagraduate, kundi makakuha ng trabaho. Di ba? So, you know, I think um, one major reform that we can do is to look at the educational process. And this will be, probably, if not the first, the second thing I will do if I'm elected a senator, is to look at the educational process and try to go end-to-end. But yung end natin is not graduation. Yung end natin is job placement. No? And I think we, we look at the educational uh, process and the process of finding employment as two separate uh, silos. No? We don't look at it as one continuum. Kailangan buo yun, no? From the time that you enter uh, K1 all the way till you graduate, and whether you go vocational and you get skills or you, get, uh, you go to a tertiary institution and you get a college degree, Kailangan yung end point mo dyan is finding the right jobs. Now, we do have industry forecasts. We do know which jobs are opening up. Kasi, kakasabi pa lang, there are 600,000 jobs opening up in the BPO industry. Why aren't we moving towards that? ba? The numbers are there. Malinaw na malinaw na may mga gaps tayo. I think the the fact that there are 500,000 nurses right now na walang trabaho, that's, that's really... I mean, yan, masakit yan sa loob ko. Masakit yan sa akin. Dapat masakit yan sa ating lahat. That's 500,000 families na nag, nag, mga kabataan na nag-aral, nag-ipon yung mga magulang, nag-review class pa yan. Of course, mahal yung mga ibang review class. Nag-boards pa yan just to find out na walang trabaho. Why? Could they not have said early on na the forecast for nursing jobs have dried up already? I'm sure they, uh, the information was there. But still, tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung pag-produce natin ng, ng mga nursing graduates natin, no? Would they have preferred that early on sinabihan na sila, oy, 500,000 nurses, by the way, ah, medyo in the local job market, international job market, medyo ubus na to, ah. Baka gusto nyo mag-shift ng ibang trabaho kasi at least sa BPO industry, meron tayong 600,000 jobs na mabukas. ba? I mean, these are gaps that can easily be or that should be filled up already with information technology, with the right coordination. I don't know if it needs a legislation, but if it needs a legislation, we should be able to bridge those gaps. No? These are companies locating their businesses here. They will have more jobs for Filipinos. Is the workforce ready for these jobs? I'm not sure. No, I'm not sure. Considering the track record that our educational institutions and our industries do not really match, hindi ko sigurado na itong mga investments na to that come in, the jobs that will be created if we do have the right workforce for these jobs. No? And that means a closer coordination between the different agencies and between the different players. No? Yun yung kinakailangan natin. That's just one of the different things. Music